This video is by request. I was asked to show you guys how I use a platform to record a step-by-step -step process so that it turns into a PDF or HTML markup for a particular application. So basically what I'm doing here is I am creating these step-by-step -step guides that have images and the user can go through this and see all the exact steps of, of what I do. And then here you can share it and you can share it by embedding that code on platforms like WordPress, or you can export it to a PDF. So let me show you an example. I'm going to go to export and it's going to generate the file and it's going to put a little step-by-step -step process together in a PDF. So I'm preparing for a class that I'm hosting tomorrow on ChatGPT for real estate specifically. And here you can see the intro, the title, the intro, and then it tells you what website to go to and you can click on it. And then it's got all these images, but this is actually made while I'm working. So I'll show you an example here. And there's a link below uh, in the description. This is ScribeHow. And I'm not sure if my link gets you anything special. You can check it out. It is an affiliate link. I do partner with the software that I pay for and use, which basically means it benefits me if you make a purchase, but there's no extra cost to you for that. So I pay for this every month. And the reason I do it is to create these tutorials and these guides. I love how it looks on a website. So let's do a real deal example. So I was just now about to create in ChatGPT. I am going to ask ChatGPT to help me create a, an ebook for real estate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to this little icon. This is my scribe extension, Chrome extension. And when I click on that Chrome extension and then I can click start recording, it now starts recording what I'm doing on the website. So here I'm going to put in Pretend you are a real estate agent. Create an ebook that tells a home buyer exactly what to expect in the home buying process. You are in Nevada, which is an escrow state rather than an attorney. You represent the buyer. Okay. So now, as you can see, we're getting the response back from chat GPT and it's recording the process. Now it's not recording. It's recording my actions. It's not recording all that text in the scribe itself, but it's recording the back and forth between the two. So once this is done, if I go back in and re prompt it, then the scribe will pick up that reprompt and put that in there. So once it's all done, then all I, all I have to do is come up here to the scribe and click stop recording. And then you can see here that it's actually started the scribe. So up here I could say, this is titled chat GPT for real estate home buyer guide. And then here I could put in a description, use chat GPT to create lead magnets and home buyer guides. Okay. Then you can see here, it includes the URL to any URLs that you opened during that time frame. So here you can see it's, it says navigate to chat GPT, click on the field and then enter the prompt type. Pretend you're a real estate agent, create an ebook that tells a home buyer exactly what to expect in the home buying process. Now, if you were designing in Canva or something, you would be able to see a much more imagery. In ChatGPT, we're just basically getting these prompts. But if I wanted to add an example of what this looks like, I can just do a quick little screenshot here to show them the example. Then I can go back over to the scribe. Whoops, that's a different one. Here we go. And then I could just click on the little image, choose a file, and I'm going to add what we just created, insert screenshot. And then I can use the little plus and minus buttons to zoom in or zoom out. 
Okay. And then once I'm done and I have the scribe how I want it, then I can just go to make it visible by coming over here. I can add it to a page. I can move to a team. I can duplicate. I can delete it. I can add more steps. I can customize the images. I can mark up the images. I can look at stats and info. If I just want to share it, I'm going to go here to share. And then I'm going to change that to shareable with a link. And then I can embed it. And it would look like this. Here's the preview. So I could put this on a website. And then what will happen is they can actually click through to each screen as they go. So rather than having it in a PDF, for example, where that would work well is I'm a course creator. So at balanacademy.com, I have my courses that I sell. So I do a lot of video courses, but sometimes I'll upload a PDF. This is a great use of that because we can actually put that in now underneath the video, either in a PDF form or both a PDF form, then also the iframe that they can just click through with that embedded snippet to view each page. Or again, we can export it as HTML. We can export it as Markdown, which works well with Notion, GitHub, and other apps. Or we can export to Confluence if that's a platform that you're using. So here we go, export as a PDF, click export. So this would be great if you're building a team, if you're onboarding, if you're hiring writers, if you wanna record any process that you do. I like using these for blogs because I do a lot of tutorials. So I put them on my lauriballon.com website as well. So there's just a quick overview. Somebody asked me how I used it. So I thought I'd make you guys a quick video. I'm Lori Ballon. Thank you for joining me today.